Hello lovely people, if you could not tell by the title, today I'm bringing you an editing tutorial. Today's video is brought to you by my Instagram stories. That sounds like this is sponsored. This is not sponsored by Instagram, but if Instagram, if you want to sponsor me, hit me up. Um, yeah, on my Instagram stories, I post a lot of behind the scenes content, a lot of boomerangs of my editing process, a lot of behind the scenes things of what I'm doing to plan shoots and things like that. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram, you should definitely do that. It's the same username as my YouTube channel, at Elise Bird. It'll be linked in the description below. And also, you can get to see more of my work like on a regular basis except waiting for me when I post a video. Yeah, do that. Um, so on my Instagram stories, I posted this boomerang. Um, it is of a studio shoot that I did, which is already up. Behind the scenes video is up, so I definitely would tell you, before you watch this, minimize this. Don't exit, just pause it. Minimize it, open a new tab, watch the new video of the behind the scenes video, and then when you're done, come back. I'll wait. Okay, you watched it? Cool. Now you can watch and see how I edited these photos. So yeah, I posted the boomerang on my Instagram story and someone replied to me, asked me for a tutorial and I was like, hey, why not? This edit was actually super easy. It looks kind of complex, but it's not. I am by no means like a super like Photoshop savvy editor. I am like know the basics and I taught myself. So that should tell you that you're not gonna be doing like a lot of complex like layers and all this like, you know, crazy stuff. No, we're not doing that, we're not doing that. All right, everyone, now that we have Lightroom open, let's get into the editing tutorial. So on the left, you are going to see the original image with distractions and everything. And then on the right, you're going to see the final image. And so basically what we're going to do is we're going to be expanding the backdrop and dragging it over to the side. So it looks like we're in one seamless backdrop studio area. Um, and we're going to be doing this edit all in Photoshop. Um, yeah. And I'm going to show you guys, you can either do it with the image straight out of camera or you can do it with the image pre-color graded. Um, I did that for this image. Yeah, I pre-color graded it and then I opened it in Photoshop and edited it. Um, I would just say that if you're going to pre-color grade, just make sure that you are dead set on that color grading. Because once you open it in Photoshop and save it back into Lightroom, it will not allow you to go back in like reset the color grading to the camera raw settings or however it was straight out of camera you have to stick with that color grading anyway that's besides the point let's just go ahead and get into the tutorial so what you're going to do is you're going to go to photo edit in and you're going to edit in adobe photoshop and you're going to wait for photoshop to open there we go and so the first thing i always do is i double click the background layer and that just makes it a layer that just unlocks the background so that I can move it around if I want to. Then the next thing I always do is duplicate the layer. So you're going to right click and duplicate layer, duplicate, duplicate, I can't, what? Duplicate layer, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. And this is just so that in case I mess up, I have a backup I can just start over. So I'm just going to hide the backup one. And again, the reason why I unlocked it is so I can move it if I wanted to but that's just beside the point anyway so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select this rectangular tool and as you can see you can just drag it and make different rectangles and yeah stuff like that um, so this is what we're gonna this is the tool we're gonna be using to expand the background so what you want to do is that you want to select the part of the background that you want to expand so this is the part I want to expand and then you're going to edit free transform and then this is this is so easy guys all you're going to do is literally drag it to the end and press enter and then there you go that's how we're expanding the background i told you it's super easy not complex at all at all and again this is totally i would not recommend doing this if the background is really complex and really intense with a lot of distractions because when you expand it it's going to mess up the it won't mess it up it'll just make it look like really unnatural and really warped and that's unless that's what you're going for you probably don't want that to happen so i would definitely just recommend this for things that have easy simple back backgrounds that are not very distracting 
and so yeah and so don't worry about these little like hiccups right here like you can obviously tell that there's a line that shouldn't be there we're gonna fix that later we are just gonna move on to the next side and do the exact same thing so you just select and drag select and drag yep boom and there you go now the background is all seamlessly together but as you can see again there's like some mess ups right here and right here and right here you can tell that something funky went on but don't worry we're gonna fix that so we're gonna go over to the heel brush tool and you're gonna press alt alt on your keyboard i'm sorry if i mispronounced that i don't know you're gonna press the alt option on your keyboard you're gonna hold that down and you're going to sample the part of the background I would recommend sampling a part of the background that is already close to the part that is messed up. So I would say sample something right here. Don't like sample her shirt or sample like over here that's lighter. And that's because it's just going to mess it up because they're basically going to be using the sample as a way to compensate and to fix them, the part so that it looks, to get, looks like it's put together. That makes no sense. I am so sorry. Anyway, <laughs> you're just going to click something that is near the mess up. So right here. And then you're gonna just paint over it. And there you go. Simple, and easy. I told you this guys. I told you guys this is gonna be easy. Yeah, I totally love the heel brush tool. I use it all the time. Totally use it all the time. Every time I retouch, I'm using the heel brush tool. Um, yeah, and yeah, you can get super nitpicky with it if you want. I I don't want to like that because I kind of like the way the shadows look and everything if I really wanted to I probably could like even out everything but I like the way the shadows look yeah and then if you want a refresher before after and so once you are happy with how the background looks you're just gonna flatten image right click on your layer and flatten image and then what you're gonna want to do is to file save and if you will see it changed the image file it is now a tiff file instead of the raw image file that it was before this is um now this image is now directly re-imported into your lightroom so you can just go back into lightroom and bam it's right there and yep and that's that's that guys i told you this was super super easy not like something complex this is the edited version um, not anything complex, not anything you cannot do. As you can see, it's super fast too. I did that in a short amount of time, like five minutes maybe. So we're going to go ahead and edit this second image. So we're going to do the same exact thing. You're going to go to photo, edit in Photoshop. And this this image I chose this image because I chose this image because the background or the um, excuse me the way the paper is laid out or pictured in this image it's a little bit more difficult to transform and to drag the layers because the shadows are different and the images I mean the backdrop is folded a different way so that's why I chose this image to show you that show you how to do it on a little bit more of a difficult image. So first thing we want to do is of course duplicate the layer. Oops, what? Duplicate the layer. All right, hide that. Okay. So now the first thing I'm going to get rid of is this little the bar, the roll. That's basically what we're gonna do. We're gonna select, free transform, and drag it. And then go to the side, retransform, and I could probably actually make this retransform thing bigger. Drag it. And so basically, the hard part is going to be right here when you get to the corners because you obviously don't want 
to lose the shape of the corner because it's gonna look unnatural. At least I don't want to, so. You just have to be a little bit more precise at which, which areas of the image you are choosing to transform. You might have to get like smaller pieces of the image to transform. And again, if you mess up, it's okay. Um, you have a duplicate layer, so you can always just start over, and that's why I always duplicate my layer. Alright, now that the background is pretty much done, we're going to go back with the heel brush tool and start healing all these lines. So you alt and then you and see, I just messed up because I selected an area that was not the same color. Alright, yeah, I think I like the way it looks and the good thing is that the way this sh shot was taken, there's a lot of different, there was already a lot of different colors coming in from other sides, so the shadows don't look as weird. Yeah, so this is the before, this is the after. Yep, and then you're just going to flatten your image. File, save. go back into Lightroom and there it is and then here are my two final images yep and there you go super easy tutorial on how to expand your background yeah, if you guys like this tutorial, if you found it helpful, please let me know in the comments below. I'm totally so bad at explaining things, so I hope I did this justice. But again, this tutorial is so easy. Um, yeah, I hope you guys liked this tutorial. And yeah, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!